everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So welcome back to this multi-part tutorial series. It's all about blockchain for Python developers. We're going over uh, Web3 for Python. I'm showing you how to you know, use the blockchain as a Python developer. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to deploy smart contracts to the blockchain with Python. And really quickly, if you wanna become a highly paid blockchain developer, then you need my online blockchain developer bootcamp, which is coming out on May 15th, 2019. And you can find out more information on my website at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. And I'll put a link to that down in the description below. So in this video, we're gonna deploy smart contracts to the blockchain um, with Python. And in order to do that, you know, you need a blockchain. So I've got Ganache running here. Um, I showed you how to set this up in previous videos. So check those out if you haven't already. And we also need a smart contract to deploy. So I'm going to use a Remix, which we've also used in other videos. Um, so you basically can just go to remix.ethereum.org. I've got the Greeter contract in here. This is sort of the Hello World contract, the canonical Hello World contract of the Ethereum world, where you can basically just get instead of value. In this case, it's a greeting, and the contract is a greeter. Okay, so um, what we want to do is deploy this particular smart contract to this blockchain right here. So we wanna make sure we're connected to that blockchain. First, we're gonna to go to Sublime Text and connect to that blockchain just like we did in the previous tutorials where we get the URL. This is Ganache running on uh, localhost port 7545. Um, that's what 127.001 is, uh, port 7545. And we can instantiate our Web3 connection like this. Okay, so this will connect the file to uh, the blockchain. We can actually just check that. We can say Web3 uh, is connected. I'll run the script. See what happens. All right, it's working okay. So now uh, let's actually get the information that we need. So in order to deploy the smart contract, we need an ABI, all right? That's going to be a, a JSON array. And we need uh, some bytecode. Oopsies. We're going to paste that in here. So there's a few different ways to do this, right? And the cool thing about Web3 for Python is you can, you know, you can compile smart contracts. You could actually take this Solidity source code and compile it down um, and then get all the necessary information from that to deploy the smart contract to the blockchain. So I would show you how to do that, but there's a lot of failure points. Um, namely, you have to have um, Solidity installed in your computer in order to get the Solidity compiler. You have to get a Python version of the Solidity compiler, at least an interface, and importing your project. And sometimes those things get out of sync because the Solidity programming language is changing all the time and not everything can keep up with it. So instead of just creating a video that 90% of people are just gonna fail, to, to complete, and that's not that's not your fault. It's just because the tools are so bad. I'm just going to show you how to do it with um, the ABI and the bytecode from uh, Remix. So I'm going to go in here and uh, just compile this. So we'll go to the details, and I'll get the uh, ABI inside of here. So I'm just going to copy this line of JavaScript, and we'll just format it inside of our project. We'll just uh, get the uh, JSON array. Remove this junk, say ABI is this, all right. And now we're actually going to uh, load the JSON. I'm gonna say JSON, we've got JSON imported here. JSON loads, and then do that. All right, and now we want the byte code, which we're gonna get from here. So let's scroll down and go to uh, this object right here, and copy it, and paste it inside of our string, okay? This is gonna be the bytecode that we need in order to deploy the smart contract. Okay, so these two pieces of information are what we need in order to deploy it. And also we need an account to deploy it from, which will be this one, because we need some Ethereum cryptocurrency in order to you know, create transactions and deploy smart contracts to the blockchain. So I'm going to set the default account, Web3 uh, ETH default account is equal to Web3 ETH accounts zero, which is gonna be the first account on the list, which is gonna be this one right here. All right, so now uh, let's actually instantiate this contract. We'll say greeter uh, equals web3 ETH uh, contract 
say ABI equals ABI, and then byte code equals byte code. All right, so now let's deploy it like this. So basically, whenever you run the smart contract constructor function, this is what the constructor function looks like uh, in solidity 0.4.21. Uh, it deploys it to the blockchain. Or said another way, this is the function that gets called whenever the smart contract is deployed to the blockchain. So we deploy the smart contract in Web3 for Python just by calling that function. So we say, uh, I can get the transaction hash from that, ctx hash equals greeter constructor. And I'll call that. And just like the last video where I showed you how to call the smart contract functions, we must transact with the blockchain by calling transact on the constructor function. All right, now let's uh, print the transaction hash just to see if this worked. I might have made a mistake. We're going to find out. All right, so let's uh, python app.py. Oops, sorry, typo. All right, so it looks like I had just a little copy error. So it did work that time. All right, so let's continue on. So we've actually deployed the smart contract to the blockchain. And we can see uh, evidence of that here. Uh, transactions, we can see that uh, we do have a successful transaction. And that contract was created. All right, so now let's go back to uh, our project. And let's interact with the contract uh, that we just created. So just like we did in the last video, we can wait for the transaction to be mined. We can say TX uh, receipt, see uh, ETH, sorry, uh, sorry, Web3, ETH, wait for transaction receipt, and paste in the TX hash. All right, and we can console, or sorry, not console log print, uh, TX, Receipt. That's what happens when I program in too many different languages, especially with the same library. You start just doing things in the wrong language. Uh, so my apologies. All right, let's see here if this is going to run. Okay, so there's the receipt. Now we can read some information from that receipt to um, interact with the contract. We can instantiate the contract in Web3 like this. A contract equals uh, Web3, ETH contract. Uh, I'm going to paste in the address. This will be the transaction receipt. Uh, contract address. And then we'll say the ABI is equal to the ABI we pasted in above from uh, uh, remix. And now we can uh, basically call the functions. So we can say print contract functions greet call. Let's see what we get. All right, there's the greeting. And just like the last video, we can update the greeting. We can say uh, TX hash, which we'll overwrite in this case. Contract functions uh, set greeting. Hello. And we'll transact. All right. And then we'll, same thing, we'll wait for the transaction to finish. And then we will print a contract functions greet call. All right, let's run it and see if it actually changes. There we go. We can see the new greeting printed out to the console. All right, guys, so that is it. That's how you deploy smart contracts to uh, the blockchain with Web3 and Python. So like I said, there's other ways to do this. You know, I can leave you with an exercise if you're feeling brave. 
Um, you can actually try your hand at uh, compiling the source code for the smart contracts. Um, I'll show you how to do that right now, just for your own sake. Uh, I'm not going to do it on screen just because it's kind of treacherous um, with all the dependencies out there. Um, but I'll point you to the reference of how you can do it yourself um, if you want to do it on your own time. All right, so here it is. So basically what you need is the Solidity source code. This is the same as the greeting contract we just used in Remix. Um, so what you have to do is you can get the Solidity source code and compile it with um, the Solidity compiler, right? But here's the thing. You need to install the Solidity compiler, all right? So this can be kind of tricky because the Solidity compiler keeps, like, updating all the time. And sometimes the version gets out of sync with uh, the Python uh, version or the Python interface for the Solidity compiler. And you can find yourself with facing a lot of problems. You know, you can you can basically f enforce which version of the Solidity compiler you want to use, but a lot of times that involves uninstalling it from your machine and installing an older version that you have to find in some branch somewhere on GitHub, and it can be a real hassle. So that's why I didn't do it on screen. Um, but if you want to try that yourself, you can follow the uh, documentation here at Web3. .redox.io. So again, hope you all like this video. Check out my blockchain developer bootcamp, which launches on May 15th, 2019. And if it's past that date, you can check out how you can get in the bootcamp now with a link down below. So again, hope you all like this video. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.